Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta, and welcome to Hotel Transylvania Scary Tale Adventures. So this game is obviously part of the Hotel Transylvania game series, but obviously it's based on the series, the actual series itself, you know, like the movies. And it's a fun one. It's actually one of the newer titles, because it did come out this year. There is actually another Hotel Transylvania game out for the Switch, and that one is called... Hotel Transylvania 3 Monsters Overboard or something like that and even though it has a 3 on it that one actually came out before this one because it's based on the order numbering of like the movies that's why so this is the newer one but I will probably eventually go into playing Hotel Transylvania 3 um, if you uh, request it if it gets requested by you know by enough people anyway let's go ahead and uh, you know just get a new game going on here we're just gonna select file number one and let's begin so we can do resume continue, obviously we can't do that. Select scary tale, there's, there's extras, I guess I'll just quickly show you extras. Uh, where you essentially have a card collection here. Uh, and then it's split into categories like general, a little bit of writing, boo. I get it, that's funny. But, yeah. Now, it goes without saying that this is empty. <laughs> because I haven't actually gotten anything yet, but that's okay. Then there's credits, I don't need to roll the credits right now, like seriously. It's the beginning of the playthrough gonna go into settings really quick and just take a look at some stuff here so here's controls you know you move you select your powers attack job it's pretty obvious and simplistic controls I don't really need to go through that there's audio settings I will leave that alone and there's language I will also leave it alone so it's pretty basic settings nothing really unique to customize so let's just go ahead and you know get right here will mom and dad be long Oh no, my little Denisovich. Don't worry. They returned from their business trip to Loch Ness in the flap of a bed. What are we supposed to do till then? I'm so bored. Ah, my little creatures of the night. Here, I've brought you the best spell to conjure up some fun. Well, my little demons, which story would you like to listen to today? And here we are able to select the scary tale. So we basically have the Cave of Treasures, Little Red Riding Boo, a never seen present, and those are the three. And this one says locked, so we'll be you know doing those. Uh, we basically have to do the you know these here, Dragon Navis, and then you'll see these two. But we're gonna go ahead and select. We're gonna do the Cave of Treasures first. You must complete the current scary tale to go on to the next one. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do this. Now, I will show this uh, loading screen here. Just because I want to show you what they look like, first of all. Like the background images, and that they give you little tips on the corner. Like usually the bottom left corner. Uh, but typically, if loading screens are very long, I will actually cut them out for the uh, duration of the playthrough. This one wasn't too long right here, but there might be some that could be a little longer. Time ago, in a very distant land, there was an extremely handsome and strong young man named Drac the Apprentice. Cockroaches! Ooh, it's so hot! And it won't be long before the sun rises. Thank goodness I've arrived. Drac the Apprentice had spent days exploring that scorching desert, but had finally found... The Cave of Treasures! The legendary treasure of the thieves is in there! Stop, stranger! What did you come here for? My name is Drac the Apprentice, the gorgeous young man answered, and I want to become a member of the Gang of Thieves! So you want to share the wealth that I, the King of Thieves, keep in the Cave of Treasures? Then you have to prove that you are worthy. For starters, deliver me the three medallions that my men are guarding. And if you don't succeed, don't bother coming back. Brad the Apprentice hesitated for a moment. He had heard stories about the perils that plagued these lands. Alright, I'll bring you the three medallions. But he courageously accepted, consumed with the thought of getting his hands on so much treasure. Ha 
<laughs> hey, story night. I want to join in too. No way. Frank, hold your... Huh? W what happened? Where's the rest of me? Oh, you're a real piece of work, Frank. Now the young apprentice is going to have to find your missing body parts spread around the chapters. <laughs> this is awesome! I'm gonna be the main character of my very own story! Okay, so we finally get to uh, play the game here. So, basically, I mean, it's pretty simple, like I was saying before. Uh, you know, the camera and everything, and the movement. Pretty straightforward for the most part. You get to jump with B, you get to do a double jump by, you know, uh, basically, the double jump switches you into a bat, actually, uh, which is more like a little, it's like a little hover thing or glide, whatever you want to call it. But there's a bunch of stuff, you know, everywhere around here, but I think for the most part, I should probably just uh, proceed where it's telling me to go. You can follow the, uh, the arrow here. The sneaky thief. Let's do it. The young apprentice knew he had a tough quest ahead of him. Getting those medallions would not be easy. After a very, very long trip, Drag the apprentice began his traditional dance to loosen up his bones. One, two, cha-cha-cha. Okay, so it's telling us about movement right now, as you can see. We're just moving around. Uh, oh, it's going to be the tutorial of the game. That big rock is blocking our way. We'll have to go over it. You can press B to jump. There you go. The next objective is pretty far away. Maybe it's time to spring. Sprinting, you press and hold the stick forward, and you get to actually Pretty sprint forward. What if we try to jump in the middle of a sprint? We will definitely go farther. Nice. Ooh, this area looks dangerous. But luckily, you can turn into a bat and glide to get to the safe zone. Catching on pretty fast. Now, let's try something more difficult. The air dash will allow you to access more remote or elevated areas. It's like a little final push. Try to reach the goal using all the powers you have just learned. So basically, if you do that and then you press A, you will. It's kind of like an attack forward almost. Okay, so we're going to go in here and start attacking with Y. Great! You really smashed those objects! As you can see, some of them will give you rewards. I heard that you can also ground dash to avoid dangerous traps and enemies. Let's try it! The ground dash will launch in the direction you're aiming at. Be careful when using it on small platforms or cliff edges. You can use your charged burst to activate the pressure plate. Okay, basically you get to pick your power by, you know, uh, putting or selecting the pad and then once you actually have one just go ahead and hold the X button and you get to use the ability in this case a charge burst there you go the 
The apprentice soon discovered that the oasis was like a labyrinth, but he wouldn't let that stop him. Oh my god, this camera rotates insanely fast, like... This is ridiculous. Why is it going so fast, actually? I mean, there's no settings to, like, fix up the... the camera speed, you know? It's just insanely fast, but I'll just get used to it, that's fine. This sneaky thief, uh, okay, 1250, whatever, that's fine. Alright, well, here we go. Get to the sneaky thief and get his medallion. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I don't think there's... Yeah, I, mean, I should just be going one way, really, for the most part, so... I mean, usually items aren't, like, too hidden. You know, you just simply, like... Keep moving forward, like, the linear path. It serves as a collectathon, but overall it's kind of similar to the Paw Patrol games. The 3D ones, at least. How, you know, they just put a bunch of collectibles there for you, and, like, okay, that's cool, you know, but... Yeah, alright, we're gonna run around here and just get them all. See, like, there's, like, little ways that look like they're out of the pathway, but... I can attack that, there we go. Give me this. Actually, I'll definitely be looking for chests. Um, because they do contain a lot of, you know, collectibles like that, like what you just saw, so, um, should be uh, pretty aware of that stuff. These are, like, little bouncy things, okay. I can also sprint if I need to, but... Okay, I also gotta watch out for these thingies, because... They will have stuff in them. So... Okay, I guess I should... I'm gonna press that. That will fix up this platform that's moving, but I did actually forget this down here. There's a little treasure chest. I think there's actually more on this side. Yeah, there is. Yeah, see how fast the camera turns? That is actually insane. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to get used to this camera because it's... It's moving so fast. Okay, let's take a look at... Ooh, what is that? That's the thief with the medallion. This was easier than I thought. Boring. Hello, hello. The boss wasn't lying. So we have a new thief's apprentice. The thief was not going to give up the medallion so easily. You can forget about getting this medallion, buddy. The other thieves haven't succeeded so far, and neither will you. Come and get me, and if you find me, I'll promise I'll give you the medallion as a prize. The thief had turned into a mirage right in front of the apprentice, and as if that weren't enough... Okay, I gotta defeat all the enemies. Oh shoot. I mean, just approaching them straight on is pretty simple. You shouldn't have too much trouble with these guys, I mean. You do have abilities as well, which I'll be using eventually. I'm just uh, using my regular attacks for now, because I think that's good enough. For now, at least. Yeah, three little hits will do it. You haven't even come close. This ought to be fun. <laughs> Catch me if you can. And as if by magic, the voice of the thief was lost in the desert. Cockroaches. It's going to be hard to fight. These dudes are dangerous and full of mirages. Okay, so... You kind of get the premise of the game now, right? I mean, it's... Can I actually... No, I don't think I can do anything with that. But I can break a bunch of these items to get some... 
that were collectibles. I don't think there's anything over there. No, I think we're good. Find out where the sneaky thief is hiding. Oh shoot. Oh no, I've already taken I should actually be doing a little better with like dodging attacks and stuff. Alright, got that one. They're actually surprisingly accurate though. Alright, got them all. And I don't believe I missed any stuff over here. Uh, no. I think we're good. Nice, you have found a health booster. Get two more to increase your health and become stronger. Ah, yes. That always reminds me of like Zelda whenever there's stuff that are like equivalent to like heart pieces, you know, and stuff like that. I don't know why I always think of that, but I generally do. Here's another pickup. That one's a key right there. That one is important. Did I miss anything over here? No, I don't think I did. I, I thought I had missed like a little pathway, but no. No. Okay, so there, first of all, there's this that I can use the key on, which will... Oh shit, that one actually almost hit me, but we're fine. What are these cards? And, and where did they come from? Papa Drac. Every store needs to have a card collection with their characters. Everyone knows that. Oh, right. Of course, everyone knows that. Well, if they are here, let's get as many as we can. Stay sharp, Denise Vichy. They could be hidden anywhere. Okay, nothing much in there. We'll just go, uh... Proceed forward now. Wait, I should be looking at the floor. I don't see any more, like, little jars and pots, so... I think we've collected everything so far, but I could be very wrong about that. Oh jeez, I didn't know that happened. Oh wait, there's actually enemies in here though. In a way it's kind of a blessing that, you know... Because I just got a, a free resource there. One. He only dropped one. So. Yeah. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab this. And we gotta wait on that. So yes. That thing is timed over there at the end. I really thought it was not though. And there's also a thing on the left over there. But those are invisible the entire time. Yeah. I think so. Because yeah, they turn invisible when they go like that. Why did he... Oh my god. You do sometimes lose control of your character when you... Like, when you're going one direction and you don't actually do a turning like animation, but you just go back. He does get a little confused sometimes. It's kind of weird. You gotta find out where the sneaky thief is going. Alright, and I'll hit that right there. That does open up the pathway. I think I... Did I actually miss that thing going backwards then? Because... Okay, hold on. I actually want to check back. Alright, let's go ahead and move on now. I have to take care of something really quick. But anyway, find the key to open the door and advance to the next area. 
Got it, got it. It shouldn't be too crazy. Here we go. Oh, he survived? What in the world? I guess he did. Whoa, 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 whoa. I definitely glitched him. That's amazing. Yeah, count how many glitches I'm going to get in this playthrough. I'm, uh, we already know a lot of these games made by, published, sorry, not made by, published by Outright Games. Usually games that are based on like movies and stuff like, they end up getting average reviews at best, you know, because of a lot of stability issues and glitches and stuff like that, so. It's unfortunate, but it will happen. I'm not going to say often, but definitely at least every now and then, you know. Now, unfortunately, I think that cost me getting that, you know, the one droplet from there, so that's kind of a problem, but... Anyway, that unlocks that right there, but I don't want to go there yet, because I think I want to go over here first. Because there's actually a key in here. Anything on this side? Uh, no. But yeah, he's just completely glitched out. Look at that. Huh. That is crazy. Oh wait, I need to open that chest. Duh. This little sucker was well hidden, but we found it. Great teamwork. There's another one of those. Okay, find the key to open the door in advance. Alright, let's go to the next room. After a long search, Drag the Apprentice found the key. The medallion was almost in reach. <laughs> you didn't say Marco. But the thief was still making it tough. At least it was a quiet place, and Drag the Apprentice could get a little rest. Or so he thought. Because suddenly. Boom! He fell into a trap! There's five of these here. But again, they're not really tough. I mean, as long as you keep, like, constantly evading, jumping, pretty consistently, you should be able to deal with them. It takes three physical hits to kill each one. Oh, there's two more that spawn. Oh, these are actually bigger ones. These take, I believe, it's five hits apiece. <laughs> Thanks to my amazing skills, I can now continue my search in peace. <laughs> I ruin. Okay, before we advance, I do want to actually, you know, collect these items. I think we're good. With a little restoration, they're more almost like little restoration potions, I think. Okay. And there's a section I can go to. I guess I will do this. Oh, shoot! Whatever. I'll get up there in a bit. Yeah, so I'm not talking much. I mean, there isn't too much to say here aside from it's very basics at the moment. But I know the game will get a little more complicated later on. Just a little bit more. Like, it's never good. It's never like this crazy thing. You know, here's the key. Alright, so I came in from 
Oh my god, which one did it even come from? That far side over there, okay. I'm definitely gonna open this chest here. There's not really much to do here, we'll just keep going. On to the next room. On the verge of exhaustion, the apprentice had finally found the sneaky key. I'm glad to see you came this far. But will you be able to find me among the mirages? Find the key to open the door and advance to the next area. Alright, pretty straightforward again. to about 800 yeah a little bit over 800 we're making pretty okay progress here I I would say so oh another one of these spawned okay I don't see any more enemies on this side I do see them a little further over there which we'll get to in just a little bit here We got a scorpion. Actually, I think it might take six hits. Oh, shoot. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's stuck there. He's stuck. Hold on. That was an awkward angle right there, so he ended up hitting me, unfortunately. something over here. That's the key that I need. Perfect. And this unlocks the doorway to the next location. Alright, we gotta find another key in here. So hitting that switch grants access to those pathways over there, but I want to check out... Wait, hold on. Can I go this way? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, I thought I could. It looks like you can, but you clearly cannot. I do apologize with the camera here because, oh my god, this, I don't know why the camera is so fast, like, I don't even think you can change it to a slower speed, like, a, a part of me is getting a little, like, nauseous here, I, if, I don't know if all of you watching it are experiencing just as much as I am. <laughs> you finally caught me! I must admit, that was a blast. You deserve it! Good luck getting the rest. My fellow thieves won't be as nice as me. They're too proud. All right, there we go. So the important thing for me is getting the three uh, cards. I'm going to do my best to always get the three cards for every level just to show you where they are at. Get 
All right, moving on to the Sandy Thief. So if you pause the game, it will actually show you here. Um, you can basically go back and forth between the different ones, like, you know. Like, there's the first one, there's the second one, the Sandy Thief, and so on and so forth. But anyway, we're going to enter this one now. Let's continue. The Sandy Thief. With the first medallion found, Thrax the Apprentice entered the dangerous dunes of the East, ruled by a thief with the gift of sand mastery. More desert? Yeah, that's the chewing on sand from my last trip. Okay, here we are in the second level. I was waiting for him to stop talking so I can um, start talking. So. <clears throat> As you can see, a lot of these levels, I mean, here in this chapter, are basically just like Oasis desert themed, you know? That is the uh, recurring theme here. What the hell? The camera flipped on me there. I really thought I was going to go the other way, but whatever, that's fine. Hmm, we got a bunch more enemies in here. I mean, generally, I'm, I'm thinking of like maybe just avoiding these guys because I'm not going to get literally every single item. Or every single collectible, like, you know, all literally 1250. And there's not really a point in defeating enemies when I don't have to, you know? I don't know, I'll have to think about that. Okay, so that actually advances forward. Press the switch buttons in the right order. Okay. There's a key up there, which I definitely want. I didn't see a chest over here, though. It might actually be in the next location. We'll see. Yeah, I guess I can just jump over that, huh? Totally missed that, okay. Ah, oh, here is a chest. Let's use it. Okay, so that's the first one. That's another card. I guess I'll fight this guy and he's right here. But yeah, I'm thinking of just not even fighting them all because... There might not really, you know, need to be a big purpose for that. Okay, then we can start going up now. Here's a treasure which we can definitely hit. And then some more of these things to break. Three more there. Oh, look at that. We got to hit the switch. And that makes the gate drop. Okay, any enemies in here or anything? I don't really see anything here. Okay, well, let's just... I, mean, I guess I should leave those behind, you know, I just realized I probably should. Also, I need to look at something. No, you can't kill those. I thought you could, but no. That hit me? Oh my god. I was purposely not wanting to go fast for that reason. There are a couple scorpions in there. Okay, let's try leaving them behind. Let's see if they're going to be a pain or not if I just leave them. I did miss something up there, I should probably just get it.
Well, let's just go down here. It's fine. Got it, because I feel guilty. Like, and some of you probably... Even though I won't get all 1250s, because you have to be, like, perfect, you know, for which is ridiculously hard unless you know the game really well. Like, even though I'm not exactly striving for that, I should at least strive for everything I can see visibly on the screen, you know? I think some of you might actually appreciate that. So, yeah, I guess for now I'll just, I don't know, whatever I see, I'll just go ahead and fight and grab. Okay, I gotta put some, put some in the right order, it says. Oh, that one hit me. I was still got a health point from there. Okay. Yeah, the slowdown is really big at times, as you can probably tell. It's uh, not very well polished at times. There we go, we open that thing. Barely missed that. And we made it, alright. Right order to advance to the next area. The right order, you say? Okay. Oh god. I'm actually getting a freaking headache from this, from this damn camera. This is being insanely fast, and it's kind of affecting my head a little bit here, I'm not gonna lie. I think that's about all I see. Let me just look up there. Yeah, I don't see anything over there, okay. smart enough to get it. Ha! Are you going to challenge me to a dance-off? But before the apprentice's eyes, the thief created a complicated puzzle. Uh, actually, I'd prefer the dance-off. Now, if you'll excuse me, little man, I'm gonna kick back and watch you fail miserably. Could the young apprentice solve it? It's possible. Because the devious thief didn't count on one thing. The telekinesis of Drap the Apprentice. Then I go, what's this? Hmm, I am pretty sure that I, yeah, I mean, the hero of this tale can use their power to move that heavy rock. Okay, so apparently I can use my telekinesis powers. In that case, let's do it. We get to move this. Wait, why does it say... Is that just in general where I can, like, drop it? Possibly that's what that meant. Well, we're gonna come over here and we'll grab this key. Oh, I see, yeah. This is just to get more of these, which is fine. But then this right here, that, that's what the key was for. So I can unlock this and keep going through. <laughs> what do you think of that, The apprentice shot it defiantly. Oh, scarabs! I was just getting comfy. But you still need to pass my other tests. Oh, 
Alright, well, let's keep moving on then. There's going to be some other tests, apparently. Okay, then this one I'm not sure. I'll just drop it there, hold on, because I need to actually see what I need to do with this. There's that right there, a big bunch. Okay, well, let's see. Because I need to go... Oh, I see. I can't make that jump, so I think I have to actually place it as furthest... ...to the right as possible. Alright, so there's that key. That's helpful. Big chest is over there, which I definitely want to grab. I just gotta be careful not to fall here. Get down there. Don't! <laughs> I just didn't want to walk too fast, he would fall off the entire platform, you know? Ooh, another card! I've got to admit, even I want to finish this collection. Okay, that was actually really funny because that's not supposed to happen. Um, he charged at me and I i think... Was I at full health? I actually don't know if I was. Can I skip this? Okay, I get it. I get it. I... I think one of his attacks does four times as much damage, unless I wasn't at full health, I'm not actually sure. Okay, my attacks aren't actually not working. What the hell? My attacks are not working on this guy. Not even super strength is working. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, there we go. He's supposed to get stuck, I see. Get him. Okay, killed him. That was a bit tough right there, but oh my god, we got three more of these guys. Oh my god, camera, what are you doing? You cannot be serious right now with this stupid camera. Okay, my, my god, I'm getting, I'm getting a freaking headache. Well, that animation takes way too long. Okay, y'all, I need you please to charge me. Obviously very not smooth controls here, it's pretty bad. <laughs> okay, I need you to please charge at me. Oh, it wasn't the one I had already fought, huh? No, it was not. Come on. 
It's taking forever. Let's go. I don't have all day. Okay, I killed him. I did not kill him? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. How many... How many damn hit points do you all have? Okay, I killed that one finally. Where are you at? Okay, there, I killed two of them. God, it's, it's really the camera that's not making things, you know, friendly at all. It's actually making it really hard to maneuver around here. There we go, finally got them. Okay, I defeated all enemies. I can advance to the next area now. Nice. Only one health booster left to keep exploring. Okay, got it. That's good for me that I got that. Only one left, and I can upgrade my health, which is amazing to do. Gonna keep going. Oh, I think I went one platform too far. I don't need to go that way. Oh my god, he just did. See what I'm talking about? I'm telling you, he loses control. If you are walking and then you move towards a direction that's opposite, he'll actually just continue walking that direction. I actually almost died another time, but I didn't mention anything because I don't know if y'all caught that, but that was ridiculous. And now, now it actually happened. So, wow, I just can't believe that. You have to be extra careful with this stuff because, oh, that hit me, my bad. Look, oh my God, man, I'm over here struggling with these damn controls, okay. We got more of those guys, but honestly, I think I should just leave them behind because this is not going to go well. I really don't think it's going to go well. I just want my third card right here. And just be done with this place. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, this here will go ahead and make those two platforms move back and forth. Uh, not that one. Just be very careful. You can barely make some of these jumps because, again, the movement is a little awkward you notice. Find the pressure plate to activate the platform. Oh my god, I, was, I did not see that there. I'm down to a quarter health. Well, that's not good. Get the health. It only gives you a quarter. Oh my god. I'm gonna, we're moving on. We're going. all the enemies in here. Five more just spawned. Go, go. Oh my god. 
Ooh, nice. I could use that. That's oh my god, get out of there. There's way too many of them. Regroup. There's another one down. Get out of there because they're going to, uh. Oh my god, move, 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 move. They will essentially corner you if you're not careful. Got him. Alright. Defeat all enemies to advance to the next area, yeah. What the I hope you're making that up, because if you're not, the story is lame. Okay, this time I actually made it. I should not have actually pressed the A button last time. Anyway, we got some uh, more enemies here that we gotta defeat. Hopefully I can make rather quick work of them. Yeah, I think I'm pretty close to finishing this level. I think when I finish this level I will end the video. I'm gonna keep these around 50 to 55 minutes or so. Somewhere around there, I just gotta find the enemy, here you are. More might spawn though, I think. I think more are gonna spawn. Yeah, I kind of figured. It seemed too easy having only three of those little bugs. Oh shoot, you sniped me. Got me from really far away. Oh my god, look at this horrible camera. Oh my god, I'm trying to find these guys. This is why health upgrades are also beneficial, because... Stuff like this, taking more hits. I'm already half dead here, and I... Wow. Wait, are you still alive? How are you still alive? Didn't I just kill you? I thought I just killed you. I guess not. Alright, let's go. before time runs out? Ah, watch and learn. Okay, I gotta defeat all the enemies to advance. It's saying that there's three of them. Well, there's going to be more that spawn. I, I imagine so. Yeah, these guys. Alright, who's next? Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, what do I do here? Oh, that over there? Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, and here we basically have to go like this and put it there. You have to, I think you have to stay in the purple. If you go too far away from the purple, uh, you'll have to redo the puzzle. Like, I think you'll lose grip of the telekinesis or whatever. What exactly am I doing here, though? Oh, do I have to hit this thing? I think I do. There we go, that makes that. Can 
I mean, I already have all the cards, which is why I'm not worried about exploring. Once you have them all, like, you're good. If you're going for all the cards. Sweet. Drag the apprentice easily past the last of the thief's tests. However, curses. I gotta admit, you bested me, young man. You deserve my medallion. But unfortunately, I don't have it. What? That's cheating! Sorry, my guy. Centuries ago, it shattered, and my jealous cohorts hid the pieces in the oasis. If you want it, you'll have to look for them there. And that completes the chapter. Wow, that was a bit of a letdown. That all that for nothing, right? Anyway, I'm gonna end it here. So before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.